Hey guys, this is Michael bringing you the No Pain No Gain Quick quick Tips for Halo the MCC. Uh, just going to quickly list them all out for you. So one is play co-op, two is know your level, three is noob combo, four is speed run shortcuts, and five is just patience. So we can just get right into it. Uh, the background footage will just be mine and David's run of the Halo 3 missions here, 117. But yeah, No Pain No Gain involves you playing a lasso run on any level in the MCC. And the first tip is just play co-op, you know, it's a lot easier with the Iron Skull on, which uh, if you die by yourself, you have to start the entire level over. If you die with somebody else or even three other pals while you're playing this the game, uh, you will only have to go back to the previous checkpoint, which is a huge time saver. You know, any sort of uh, casual to intermediate Halo player, it's a really stressful to try to go through any of these levels with the potential of dying at any moment with a lot of chaotic things. It's a lot easier with, if you have the safety net of just going back to a checkpoint instead of having to go all the way back to the beginning of the level. Now, point number two is just know your level. We picked C0117 and just Halo 3 in general because that was the most comfortable pick for us personally but if you are more comfortable with any other sort of halo uh, halo ce 2 or even 4 go ahead and pick those the brutes are just a lot easier for us when you knock off their shields they don't regenerate them back on halo 3 so that's kind of why we went with that so yeah just know your level we uh and again 0117 seem like the easiest for us personally uh, a lot of people might not say that uh for halo 3 legendary runs but that was our comfort pick and that's what we went with number three is the noob combo that would just be and any halo fanatic would know that is the plasma pistol with any sort of single shot weapon to headshot your enemies uh so it's an overcharged pistol to take out shields of brutes and halo 3 or like elites or whatever uh to take out their shields and then just pop them right in the head uh it's a lot easier than trying to wield it on their shields with a bunch of random stuff um and hopefully you know trying to essentially hope for the kill now uh number three is, or four actually it would be speed run shortcuts and you kind of see right here uh david and i doing one of the speed run shortcuts and even at the beginning of this level um you know, whatever level you pick, I would suggest looking up a speed run of the game or of that level just so you know if there's any potential tricks that you can do to really speed up your run and are, are, are easy enough for, you know, a middle level of the ground player to go through and actually perform. And uh, this one, we're just cutting through the river real quick and it definitely bo both uh, short major shortcuts we took were a huge help cut down on a lot of time especially because we uh, the first time we ran through this we ran out of time and had to go to a uh, prior commitment and came back and ran through the speed run tricks again and we did it uh you know probably within 15 minutes come to get all the way to the last section of the level compared to probably like an hour and a half or something if you're just running straight through the game uh, so that was a major point, and the last one is just patience. Uh, you're going to die a lot, and even with the safety net of having checkpoints, uh, you know that can cause you to be reckless, or you know you could try riskier things to see if they work. And uh, but yeah, you're just going to have to st some por portions of any level that you play. You're probably going to have to go through some mobs of enemies and whatnot. Uh, just take your time. You'll see in this last section here we really struggled, and it's only a highlight of what we. We did but it took forever but we just had to uh you know essentially run through certain checkpoints over and over and over again one of them being there's a few snipers at the very end of this level where we just literally had to go with the luck of the draw and finally you know after like uh you know 50 plus uh runs at the same checkpoint you finally get that lucky movement of the enemies the ai and you're shooting to kill the snipers and keep progressing through the level uh and something we did uh in this section is like we kill the snipers and um then we backed off and start picking off people at long range just to know that in fact we got the checkpoint you know because anytime we kill the snipers it wasn't necessarily a guaranteed checkpoint you know halo checkpoints are kind of weird sometimes they give them to you like one after another and sometimes you don't get them for his, what feels like an hour but it's really just uh, a longer portion of time but yeah um, take things slow 
and uh, you should do fine. But I'll run through the tips one more time. Just again, play co-op. It's a huge time saver. This recording, actually, funny enough, went long, so long that my laptop died when recording, so I had to go back and re-record uh, my, sing my single cam playthrough of this level. But yeah, play co-op. It helps a lot. Saves on a ton of time if you don't have to start the entire level okay, again. Plus, you have a buddy there to kind of help you along. Or, you know, maybe you're pulling them along, but still, you have the companionship. It's fun. Uh, two, know your level. Uh, just know kind of where enemies spawn, uh, how the level flows and whatnot. But it's Halo, so anybody watching this probably knows every Halo level fairly well. Uh, three, noob combo. Um, and four, speedrun shortcuts. Again, huge time saver when you're trying to run through this level or any level. And then five patients. Uh, get, you're seeing right here that after we killed the snipers, we backed off, and I had a sniper. Uh, which, uh, if you do please play Sierra 117, I would suggest saving the sniper that you pick up at a Crash Pelican for this part specifically to try to take out the snipers and the jackals from long range. Yeah, we just went back, cleared out everything essentially at super long distance because a lot of things can kill you in literally a blink of an eye on la on a lasso run. Cause it is just rough. Um, Another thing about co-op is that you guys can kind of look at each other's weapons without wasting ammo or anything. I mean, sometimes some of the games, like Halo 3, the shadows are fairly good, so you can kind of look at your own shadow, but again, it's another nice touch that you can look at, you know, one another and see what weapons you have. Um, here's the last portion of, of our little highlight here, and uh, just running through. But yeah, the last point, again, is just be patient. You know, it, it's going to take a while. I already said that again and just be sounding like a sound like a uh, broken record you know just repeating the same thing over and over again but yeah I mean that's one of the major points is that just don't get frustrated you can get through uh, and it's kind of a grind at some points so you just gotta run sometimes the same checkpoint over and over again but yeah if you guys like this video uh, please you know comment like or whatever don't or just don't do anything the view in, it, in and of itself is good enough for me but I hope you guys enjoyed uh, enjoy the rest of this uh, like two second clip and uh, have a good one. Bye.